いやーあー something something relevant hey okay yeah there that was my intro anyway what's up guys it's Baruga here and today we're gonna be doing as you could see from the probably tell from the title I got demoted again because apparently whales ruin everything don't you think that's kind of bullshit like seriously, I worked my butt off trying to get to tier 20 and look what it got me to, nothing. So yeah, this led me to make this and now I'm gonna try to make my climb back up which is why I'm doing my arena with Marth, Baruka, Hector, and Fjorm who gave me a high BST now because Hector is pretty lit. Anyway, yeah, here we go, I set the first battle. We're fighting uh, Unmasked Black Knight, we're fighting Brave, Brave Ike, uh, Ice Princess and Dragon Lolly, and um, I'm trying to think of a strategy here because I'm trying to trying to get Baruka to get to Naui because Naui's uh, Naui will easily die. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I was tired. Alright, I just started recording this voiceover soon, so you know, like business in life, it's been going on. Oh, and apparently this guy also wanted to make like a black knight, a literal black knight, and gave him wings of mercy. Whoever it was that I'm fighting. Okay, here you go, now he's gonna try to kill Baruka, but Baruka's gonna win. She take no shit. Alright, here we go, we move Baruka here, because we're trying to get Fjorm to get near. We move everyone back. I, I also reposition. No, actually, no, I keep him there. Maybe I should have kept Hector and moved Baruka out of the way. Just, uh, that could have probably been a better strategy, and then Hector could have gotten rid of him. Here, we can get rid of Brave Ike easily here. Plus, we gave our Lucina Heavy Blade. So she, she can, like, restore Aether. And she has pretty high attack, so it's pretty good. And as I can see, we're doing pretty well here. Now all that's left is the Black Knight, Black Knight clone, which is literally his actual clone. And we just reposition Marth Lucina out of there. Okay, I just realized that Baruk, sending Baruka there will kill her, so I just put Fjorm in front of Hector and hope for the best. Because, you know, weapon triangle advantages. Anyway, there he goes, trying to kill me. It hurts a lot. Let me the next hit. Well, I think it's a good thing he did not give him vantage because if it was vantage, I could have been screwed. But then again, Fjorm also has vantage, so it's not like it's gonna affect her. Then again, Fjorm does have vantage also, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, that was the first easy battle. You have no idea how many takes I had to do this actually. You have no idea how many takes it took? It took literally like three takes just to get this because I kept getting destroyed by some stupid unit. Like I got killed by a Shauna. Can you believe it guys? I got killed by a unit that I hated a lot. I got killed by a Shauna. And then there's this Arya that ruined my run because of Fjorm. Because apparently Fjorm cannot tank her. Because of Ragnar Astra. So yeah, yeah, you can tell the definite bit. IS says there's no power creep, but that Arya is super power creep. Like she's in strong that she can even take care of people that are not even within her color range. And it's bullshit. And that and now I don't have to fear... I don't have to fear I'm um, winter tharges anymore because Fjorm can easily tank those. Because um, Christmas Tharja has like horrible defense. So I knew go here we go. We're going to the next battle, and I can see there's a jo there's a Thongja, a Jacobo, a Axe Lolly person, and Burger King. And here you go. I reposition Fjorm here because I'm trying to get her as close as he can to to Tharja here, so then Tharja can die. I realized that Amelia has Armored March. And so we killed a Hector for this. Because as you can tell by this encounter. So also same thing with the Takumi for that Jacob. I think that Jacob has close counter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, it looks like they're dangerously creeping up on us. Yep, someone you had just had to sacrifice a Takumi, didn't you? So anyway, yeah, here we go. We're deciding what to do. I move, move Marth there so that she could like get Amelia, because you know sword sword beats axes, I guess. 
And Amelia is not that fast. No, I actually know she is fast. But um, Lucina's faster. Ow. Uh, heavy Blade is activating too, and I'm gonna destroy her. Okay, yeah, and then this is where it starts getting kind of scary. I mean, like, Black Knight's almost out of reach me. I can't kill Amelia here. Because apparently Amelia kills me. Because I got, like, I think... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, guys, I'm tired. Uh, anyway. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Yeah, and, uh, there's Jacob. He's gonna try to kill us, but we're just gonna move here. Because we ain't getting no kebab today. No siri bob, no kebabs today. Baruka will be fine because it's Black Knight. Yeah, like, literally survives with, like, 1 HP. Amelia tries to kill me. Baruka will have her Ignis activated. I used that Ignis to kill the Black... No, actually, no, I used Fjorm to kill Black Knight here because he's, like, really low health. Burger King is dead. Just like how it is in real life, the restaurant's dead. I'm, I'm serious, I've been to that, I've been to a Burger King, it's literally empty there. Like, not a lot of people visit there. I, w I went there after, like, I came back from school and stuff, and it was literally empty. I was, like, the only one there. Literally, only one of the drive through all the only cars out there were actually just employee cars. They weren't, like, actual customers. So, yeah, I, now I know that Burger King is slowly dying, just like how he died in Arena. It's such a shame, really, I loved Burger King. I always used to go there as a kid a lot, and it was one of my favorite restaurants before McDonald's started taking over. Anyway, Jacob tries to kill him, but then realizes that it's Hector the Erector. Hector's like OP. And I see... We're just here to wave, that's okay. That's okay to save you. And man, and I just realized that I have to talk for like 22 minutes, because... Reason it's 22 minutes actually is because um as you can see the original video kind of went kaput in After Effects. After Effects is being a complete dick. After Effects is a complete dick. Okay, just let's just leave it at that. And um and it, apparently the frames are too high and it couldn't even display the rest of it, so I had to cut it out. So it probably cut out like about 20 seconds of the footage, which is okay. I mean it was just just that. I mean, I kind of. That's why there's like an. The video's long because there's a part two that I did of this that combines both videos. Because I thought that if it was below 20 minutes, it would actually record, but no, it turns out no. It turns out no. It's just that After Effects just works like that because sometimes it can be a complete douchebag. It would be a complete douchebag to you. It, yeah, I am running out of. I am running out of arena crests. Honestly, seriously, I'm like out of those now. I used to have so many, but ev my adventures of trying to get to tier 20 is what ruined it all because, because you know, desperation and such. What is my life anymore? Uh, just I'm just here a YouTuber just doing hero contents. Well, stuff, uh, whatever. Anyway, now we're gonna be fighting. Minerva, another, another Fjorm, another Marth Lucina, and a uh, Nino. The trying her best girl. As you can see, she is literally trying her best. So I'm thinking of a strategy because I realize I need to get rid of Nino because Nino is the biggest threat right now. <laughs> Nino is the biggest threat, actually. Okay, I kill Minerva here. I'm serious though. Nino is like a serious threat. Especially because she can double you and she's like, can has bar blade, which means that she's like strong as fuck. She's strong as hell, man. Hey, here's my- oh god, I am tired of Jesus. Anyway, I move Fjorm over here. Okay, never mind, I don't move her there anymore, okay? That's false hope. Alright, don't, don't believe everything I say. Anyway, yeah. Okay, then I actually move her. And then I'm just basically moving everyone out of the way. I'm trying to get, like, Nino to get closer to Lucina. So then I can get rid of her. There, we got rid of Nino. I, I thank God I could reposition Hector over here. Because then I would have moved, moved him out of... 
Marcina's range where Marcina could have probably killed. Anyway, yeah, I re I leave Fjorm there to tank that. I move um I move uh, Hector over here, so then Fjorm will go after. I thought Fjorm was gonna be s smart, but no, it turns out that she became a rally bot. Here, I almost died. Here I finish. I can't. I can't. I realize, and I. I'm like at first I thought, why can't I reposition her? But then, oh yeah, she can't stand on lava. She might be ice, but she can't stand on lava. So anyway, I'm thinking of a strategy to beat her because she, she would not be able to beat her on her own even with vantage. So I decided I have to weaken her. And then, so then like. I have to weaken her so then like cause Vantage will activate and kill Fjorm. Yeah, we won. And there it is. And that's how we got out of that alive. It's sometimes really hard in the arena actually. Arena is pretty hard, like like honestly, it's literally become it's no longer but that you can try being non whale. Turn to reach the tier twenty. So, but mainly you have to be a whale to stay up there. Cause I'm pretty sure the player rank number one is always the whale, the one that has like tough things. The whales, which means that they spend like thousands of dollars in this game. They sp it spent even way more than me. I have spent a thousand dollars in this game. I had a, at mo I'm basically a dolphin. I basically spent about two hundred dollars or more on this game. So it's not like full. I'm not like complete whale, but I am kind of there. I'm the dolphin, as the term is correctly used, which is someone who does spend money on this, but doesn't have like plus ten merge units. Literally, there's just some of them are merged, but most of them are used for fodder. Just like how I have this extra Takumi, which I don't know what to do with. And I, I guess it could be close counter fodder because I already got a better Takumi, and mine has like plus attack. You know, yeah, here's where it starts getting, like, laggy. Well, not laggy, but... <laughs> oh, I wanted to see this Ike. This Ike is actually plus two merged. No, no, or one. I mean, I didn't see. You know, here, I get into defensive positions, because that's just how the boss I am, because it's Baruka. What are you talking about? Anyway... I'm realizing what to do, because then I realize, shit, okay, what am I going to do? So then I decide, you know what, Hector could probably do this, because I think Hector can survive at least one hit. From Micaiah. And I put her there. And then... And then we just chill. I think we just move Hector back. And I'm saying, like, okay, will I survive? I don't know if I will survive. Uh, yeah, I would, like, literally survive one hit. Then Fjorm, even with Sing, does zero damage, literally. So I, I got lucky on that. And in here, I just finish off Fjorm because Fjorm literally can't do anything against Hector because Hector's like invincible. Reposition Hector out of there. I just go here and let um, Ike try to kill Fjorm. I thought I was screwed here, but then I realized, oh shit, we have Fjorm has vantage. And then Ike died. Ike is dead. Anyway, here, I, this is a stupid decision. No, no, Azura literally goes for Lucina, even though Lucina does, like, literally can kill her, and she does only two damage, so I'm like, what the hell is the AI thinking? Like, that was a really dumb AI move. Like, why couldn't you just continue to hit Baruka? I mean, Baruka probably would have taken some damage. You could have probably lived, because Baruka is not as strong. She dip she really neat depends on skills to get kills. Oh, hey, that rhymes. Spell, like, specials to get... It's 
spe specials for kills or special to kills. She she really needs specials in order to get her kills. Because she, I mean she can kill things obviously. She can kill Reinhardt. She can kill Reinhardt if given enough distance. I'm not sure she can survive. I mean her res isn't good. And now here we go. Now we're finding Maya, which I oh, will try to get during the raid, the Farfetch Tiro's banner, but I never got her. All I got was, all I got was loot from that banner. I never got Dorcas or, or Maya. All I got was loot. And loot is a mediocre mage. She might say that she's superior and all, but I think that's just a lie because she sucks. There are way better mages. Then here's what I do. I move Lucina there. I realize something here. I move Baruka up here so then like Fjorm will come and attack Baruka. Because I know Fjorm's gonna be like that. Then here, um Kamala apparently is faster than Marth. Here you go, Fjorm dies. And then here I go, I just finish off Camilla. It's not that hard at all. Camilla is dead. Boo hoo. Though I admit she is hot though. She's a thought, but she's dead. She's not a thought. I don't know what that term is. And there's Maya trying to kill me, but then she fails miserably. And then I kill her because she doesn't have vantage. Which is great. Because I can pro I probably would have died if she had vantage. And right here I move out of the way. You see, look, I'm trying to find a way. I'm trying to find a way how to kill Rajat. Here, because Rajat kind of could kill us, but then I realized, oh wait, Glacius. Since Bjorn is really high res, because she has like 37 res, which is like really good. Yeah, she can tank magic, and plus Reinhardt can probably not even kill her anyway, and plus she can attack Reinhardt back anyway. Oh, you know what? Finally, a good seal I could probably give to Fjorm could be like a quick reposition seal, so then she can double. I should probably give her that, because, you know, the new Tempest Trial and Corrin and such coming out, and then they actually gave us a quick repo seal. You know, like all the basic stuff. Like education! Stay in school, kids! No, don't, don't, you should stay in school though, seriously, like, you might actually need those skills later. You might actually need those skills later, and I'm also sorry for the background noise, um, apparently there's a blender going on. I am so sorry about that. I'm pretty sure it's capturing it, so. Yeah, well, oh yeah, well, I'm sorry guys, so sorry for the buzzing. That's not me, that's just a blender going off. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna do another thing. We're gonna do Fjorm. But then I realized that Fjorm is actually pretty easy to kill. I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm just gonna step on doing stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here's the part where it cuts off actually. It could, gets cut off at the, like the 1930 something. Because of the After Effects, they didn't process the whole video, so it literally, like, deleted, like, 20 seconds of it. Which is not that bad, I mean, it's not, like, anything important. I mean, I won, obviously. I mean, I won, obviously. Which is pretty okay with me. Anyway, here we go, and then, like, the... Oh, shit. I, I just decided to stay in the same place because... Because Fjorm will just kill you. Fjorm will just kill Tharja here. Right, so for the context here guys, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be cut off. It's going to be cut off right here, so I'm going to tell you exactly what happens here. Okay, so I kill everyone else, but then Black Knight is still alive somehow. And then I, could, I, I spent a good couple minutes trying to figure out how to kill him because he has vantage. And as you can see, this is... got cut off so anyway I jumped straight into the final battle but look so um yeah as you can see this is gonna be probably be the part of the real blurry part because the original part of this video there was no dialogue because apparently my dialogue didn't say when I added that clip in there so yeah this is kind of crap
So anyway, I guess I'll recount whatever is left here. I'm sorry about that, guys. But anyway, okay, so here I go. Doing the final map here. I'm moving around my Hector. There's a Reinhardt there. I put Baruka here in the Brave Bravelin because Bravelin can't do shit. Trying to move Lucina here. As you could see from this demonstration right here. And then there I go. She can't do stuff. Now normally I should have done something. I could have like repositioned. Like like I should have. Like I know here it would have been a good idea to reposition Marth away. And stuff and then move Hector out of the way. And then it would have attacked Fjorm and Fjorm would have been able to tank it. So yeah, this was a dumb decision. If I did the, exactly the reposition, I could have survived and gotten a perfect run. But I was too, I didn't see it, so that's why. Now Braveland's still gonna try, but he really can't do much. And Fjorm is dead. Now I also found out that um, Fjorm can actually kill Reinhardt, so he can she can tank Reinhardt because of her high res. So yeah, it would have been a smart decision to just uh, repos- Yeah, like what I did with Hector with Fjorm, I should have done that with Lucina. And then here you go, Lin's gonna try to attack again. And then Wings of Mercy Hector. The Wings of Mercy Hector is almost dead. And as you can see, this is the part. Yeah, so I'm sorry about the original cutoff. I'm probably gonna have to re upload this. So, yeah, this is gonna be the re upload. I'm gonna probably delete the old one and then re upload the new one. It's gonna be a pain. So, yeah. And yeah, this is pretty much it. I just had to record because then I didn't want it to be like awkward silence. As you can tell. You don't, you don't want awkward silence, do you? Because then it would have just been Arvis's theme playing in the background constantly and no audio coming in. So yeah. Anyway guys, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just needed to come back and re-record this. And uh, yeah. I want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, again. Again, because this is probably going to be a real uploaded re-upload but anyway thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe for more future content because you know the baruka will because every comment and every subscription will keep me going and provide me with the place to live in my heart please donate to the cause so anyway i want to say thanks again guys for watching me check out check out my other video and check out my other stuff too i do follow join my discord chat if you ever want to have a chat uh follow me on amino and also I live stream a lot, so be sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified whenever I stream because I interact with everybody and we always have fun. Well, anyway, that's all I'm going to say, guys. Before I start rambling on, thanks again. See you guys next time. And remember, don't give Coca-Cola to a polar bear, man.